It's like getting the band back together. Yeah, a very long recess for Idaho lawmakers setting for set up for a grand return coming up on Monday. Legislators around the state going to take on Biden administration's vaccine mandates. They tell us big message coming from Idaho Republicans that the president has gone too far. I know Democrats are raising a major point, though, heading into Monday that it's possible the continuation of the 2021 legislative session might go against state law. You may remember the Idaho House took a recess back in May. The Senate, well, they formally adjourned, which created a bunch of questions about if the Senate can come back, whether the governor has to step in and call them back. Well, they're all about to pass some laws in, the, in step with the House, by the way. So if they do that, that's kind of the question that still remains. For the final say before Monday, Joe Paris spoke with Republican and Democratic leaders at the State House. After several months away, Idaho lawmakers are expected to return to the State House in Boise early Monday. We'll start with the Ways and Means Committee at 730 and introduce uh, the RSs, which are the ideas into the public system. Republican House Speaker Scott Bedke says those ideas are set to address a major topic, the Biden administration's vaccine mandates. Bedke says he knows there's a lot of ideas out there among lawmakers on how to address the mandates. We anticipate there to be a bunch of them now. I mean, I, I was thinking a dozen to begin with. It looks like they'll be close to 30. Some of those will fall out because they're incomplete, frankly, and we don't have time to you know, to do a lot of do overs here over on the Senate side. Senate Democrats are cautioning that returning on Monday could create legal questions. The Senate formally adjourned back in May while the House went on recess, creating questions about if the Senate can now legally return. And AG's opinion says yes, but the opinion is just that an opinion. The fact is that uh, anyone wanting to convene uh, the Senate next week uh, needed to get into court, raise the constitutional issues that arise from the very unique way uh, that the last legislative session ended and see if the court would be willing to issue an order nullifying uh, the Senate's decision to adjourn sine die. Assistant Senate Minority Leader Democrat Grant Burgoyne says the situation further creates more questions, specifically about if anything passed next week will even be legal. You know, everything that that the, uh, the legislature uh, might do next week uh, is going to be under a, a legal cloud. If legislation is purportedly passed, uh, is it valid, is it effective, uh, or does it just create uncertainty? There are also concerns on both sides about a possible runaway session. Because the return to session is just that, a return to normal session and not a special session, there are no rules and restrictions about what topics lawmakers can discuss. However, Speaker Bedke says they are keeping a close eye on conversations. The filter will be, can this wait till January 10th? If yes, then we're not taking it up. We know Idaho Republicans have legislation ready for Monday, but what about the Dems? We finally decided, okay, if we're going to be here, if we're going to be in session for three to four days or, or however long, then we really ought to look at what can we do that would really make a difference for Idahoans? Senate Minority Caucus Chair Democrat Janie Ward Engelking says Senate Democrats are bringing legislation to direct COVID-19 relief funds to help Idaho workers and their families. So what about going home? Well, Speaker Bedke says best bet is that it will be three pretty long days next week. He says lawmakers are well aware they are there working on taxpayer funds. We're very aware that we're, that we're coming here in an extraordinary situation and spending taxpayer dollars to do that. And we want to conduct our business in as, in as efficient and expeditious way as we possibly can. All right, Joe, I have several questions because I'm looking at this list that's at the House Ways and Means Committee that was released today. Mm -hmm. And we're looking at uh, a whole long list. But first one, this late night what is this what is this talking about yeah so i know people are, are wondering they heard speaker bedke say okay there's gonna be a few late nights this week what does that mean well the speaker told me that on the ranch for example right a late night means you get the job done when the job's done you meaning, don't stop until you're finished exactly yeah. you're gonna keep going until the job's done so we'll see what exactly that means and how that plays out next week but yes this this list you talked about we actually have a computer graphic ready so everyone at home can follow along Brian, these are for now the, the list of things that are going to be introduced at 730 on Monday, and these are all ideas 
for possible legislation. We heard Speaker Becky say there's about 29, which there are 29 from 17 different legislators. He mentioned he he mentioned that some of them won't go forward because they're incomplete, but they also seem to be a little bit r redundant, right? I mean, I'm looking at one here, this uh, Employee Medical Information Protection Act. Then there's the Medical Privacy Personal Medical Information. Limits on employees' personal medical information. There's also these four, five, no vaccination requirements for continued employment, exemptions from vaccines for employment, no vaccine status as condition of employment, no proof of vaccines for services or employment, bans vaccine requirements for existing employees. Goes on and on. They're, but they're just a little, like, at some point we're going to compress all these, right? Is that what's going to happen? Well, I, what we're going to see is you're going to see the great American exchange of ideas on Monday. And within this list, and by the way, if you're following at home, there's a backside to this piece of paper, I believe. They're going to talk about all these different ideas. And as you touched, yes, there's going to be some overlap. There's going to be ideas that have very similar core values. We're going to watch in real time on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, see how long this takes on what ideas emerge out at the top. And the speaker told me that if it gets to a point where there's an impasse and it's clear nothing's going to get done. There's a chance lawmakers could maybe not pass anything and wait until January. Now, very likely something will get passed on the vaccine mandate. We'll find out exactly what that is. There's a long list of options. It's really curious, though, if you look at this list, Keep in mind, the vaccine mandate from the Biden administration is in the court systems right now. Yep. And in two different circuit courts, there's pending or already injunctions on the mandate. So all this of this all could be for not. That's true. All of it could be for not. If the, the courts say, no, this is unconstitutional, the Biden administration cannot do this, then a majority of these would likely not you know, matter. You wouldn't need them at that point. But there are things in this list that regardless of what they do with the Biden vaccine mandate, there could be Idaho laws that are translated out of it because of it. Three or four days, huh? I'll see. All right. 29 laws just or bills just on Monday alone. The least regulated state in the union about to get a little bit more regulated, looks like. And by the way, Brian, they could end up talking about whatever they want to. True. It's, there's nothing preventing them legally from talking about education or tax bills or property tax. Will they? It's wait and see. The leadership at the state house doesn't want them to. They want them to stay focused and wait till January, but it's wait and see. We'll see what happens. All right. Thank you very much, Joe. All right. Well, like a preemptive